When you think about animated movies, what typically comes to mind? Talking animals, few good storylines, maybe even a bit of slapstick humor. But Flo, it's entirely something different. Flo dives deep into the realm of silent cinema, while trailing clear of any traditional narrative structure. This film does something few animated movies even attempt. It relies entirely on raw visual storytelling, no dialogue, no cute sidekicks translating thoughts of the audience, just pure unfiltered emotion through the animation. It's not just the silent storytelling that makes Flo intriguing. It was selected for the uncertain regard category at Keynes, a section reserved for movies that break the mold and divine somatic norms. That's where you find films that aim to challenge viewers' expectations. Works like Dark Tooth, films that push boundaries and leave you questioning, well, everything. The director has a knack for this kind of storytelling. Flo isn't his first silent project. He's known for his previous films like Away, another non-dialogue driven piece. And if you're wondering if silent is just a budget friendly choice here, think again. Every moment in Flo feels deliberate, right down to the director's composing the score himself, which makes it feel as though you're witnessing a fully realized singular artistic vision. But what exactly is Flo? Here's where things get interesting. At its core, Flo follows the journey of a long cat navigating a flooded landscape. Simple, right? But this isn't your standard animated animal adventure. There's no cozy anthro morphicized version of this kit it doesn't wink at the audience or make a quick expression that scream hey i'm relatable instead we are watching an animal that's entirely in its element driven by pure instinct and survival so why a cat the choice might seem random at first but think about it Cats are these intense, independent creatures, a perfect representation of the isolation Flo wants to explore. The film strips everything away, dialogue, human interaction, even conversational narrative structure, leaving us with this raw story of survival. And as this cat faces the harsh reality of the world submerged in water, we are along for the ride, feeling every tense moment as it closes its way through the flooded world. It's a reminiscent of a modern day Noah's Ark, with creatures of all kinds appearing here and there, but not as a symbol of humanized allegories. They are just animals, having as animals do, navigating disaster as best as they can. So even though flow might sound simple on paper, it's really the layered complex look at the survival and independence. Now, let's talk about the animation, because really, this is where Flo shines. Unlike the clean, polished look we are used to high-budget animations, Flo opts for a kind of unfinished but almost raw aesthetic. It's 3D animation, but it's designed to look like it was filmed with a handheld camera. Every frame feels a bit shaky, unsteady, almost like we are watching a live-action documentary there is a visceral on the ground feel to it that makes it seem like we are in the middle of the action with the cat not just watching from the sidelines in that unfinished quality it's purposefully there is something so striking about the way the animation feels both meticulous and rough around the edges. It's like the director is saying, this isn't going to be a clean cut, feel good story. This is going to be a messy, unpredictable and real. It's a style that serves to the ground, the viewer in the chaotic flood, ravaged world, making it feel immediate and at times almost unsettling.
for the animation itself, the team apparently spent hours studying real kid behaviors, diving into the nuisance of the movements. It's not just about making a believable animal. It's about capturing the essence of a creature in survival mode. Every twitch, every jump, every picnic dash, it all feels grounded in reality. And it's this attention to detail that makes this film so mesmerizing. So, we have this silent, gorgeous animated film about a cat surviving a flood, but why does it work? Why is something that resonates even without words? Well, as this film has a way of pulling into the cat's experience, making you laugh one moment and tear up the next. It's not trying to humanize the animals or make us see ourselves in them. Instead, it brings us into the world, asking us to empathize with their experience on their own terms. The silent actually becomes this powerful storytelling too without dialogue. The viewer is forced to pay attention to the thinnest details, the way the cat ears perk up when it hears something, the way its eyes dart around constantly searching for safety. It's as if the lack of dialogue strips away any buffer, leaving us exposed to the raw visceral experience of survival and that's what makes this powerful flow truly lies then there is the sound design the cat carries the muffled sound as it does underwater the rush of the air as it resurfaces it's all meticulous crafted to make us feel that the cat feels. Sound in flow isn't just a background noise. It's a character, a narrative itself. And with each transition between the muffled underwater sounds and the clear sounds above the surface, you are reminded of the stakes, the constant dangers the cat is facing. Let's talk about the lasting impact of flow because this isn't your film you watch and you forget. This film that sticks with you makes you think, maybe even challenge you. Why? Partly because of its mysterious, almost surreal scene we see in the movie. It's a moment that without spoiling too much is open to interpretation. It's a scene that almost feels like a dream, blending reality with something otherworldly, a callback to some of the director's previous film such as Away. Flo doesn't hand you the answers, it doesn't try to preach you or send you off a neatly wrapped mora, it respects the audience intelligence, letting us draw our own conclusion. In the end, a story about survival, about the beauty of brutality of nature and maybe, just maybe, a reflection of the mismissience of our own lives. That raw, unfinished quality. It's a reminder that life itself, imperfect, unpredictable and often chaotic. So, if you're looking for an animated film that challenges your expectation, one that leaves you thinking long after the credits roll, Flow is worth your time. This isn't your typical animated movie and it certainly isn't something to watch passively. It's a piece that demands attention, that pulls you in, asks you to see the world from the new perspective and that's what makes flow truly remarkable it's not about a cat not really it's about survival resilience and in a way it's about all of us learning to navigate the world that is messy chaotic and sometimes overwhelming so if you're ready for something different something raw and real give flow a watch it might just surprise you Thanks for watching everyone. If this deep dive intrigued you, don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts on Flow in the comment section. Is it a hit or does this silent leave you wanting more? Let the conversation keep going and until next time, keep exploring the world of cinema.